Alex, you ready? I'm ready. 20 seconds on the clock, please. Tell me how many times a day a mother has to feed a newborn baby? Six. Name something a man would rather have two of than just one. Cars. Name something you look forward to doing on Sunday. Taking a nap. Name the loudest animal at the zoo. The lion. Name something kids give their dads on Father's Day. A tie. Oh! <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I, th I tell you what, I liked all them answers you gave, buddy. <laughs> Let's turn around and see what we got. I said, tell me how many times a day a mother has to feed a newborn baby. You said six times. Survey said. Yeah. Name something a man would rather have two of than just one. You said car. Survey said. Name something you look forward to doing on a Sunday. You said, oh. taking a nap. Survey said. <laughs> I said, name the loudest animal at the zoo. You said, lion. Survey said. <laughs> I said, name something kids give their dads on Father's Day. You said, Ty, I got a million of them. Survey said. <laughs> How you doing, Miss Kathy? I think I'm doing real good, Steve. <laughs> I think so, too. 192 points. No, he did not. Yes, he did. Oh, yes, he did, Kathy. <laughs> I have never seen 192 points from one person. Yeah, you can do math like that. <laughs> Even the stupid host know you don't need but eight points. Tell me how many times a day a mother has to feed a newborn baby. You said eight times. Survey said. <laughs> Every answer he gave was the number one answer. Those are the number one answers. Everything he said was number one. I ain't never seen that before. That's amazing. <laughs> All right, Randy, you ready? Woo, yeah. 20 seconds on the clock, please. Name something your neighbor does for you when you're on vacation. Checks my mail. On a scale of one to 10, how prepared are most people to be parents? Uh, five. Fill in the blank, knuckle blank. Head. Name a color you'd find on a Rubik's Cube. Red. Tell me the most expensive thing you own. My house. Okay. Come on, Randy. All right, baby girl. Come on, let's go. Name something your neighbor does for you when you're on vacation. You said. <laughs> You got them checking your mail. I so they it. said. Yeah! Yeah. Scale of one to ten, how prepared are most people be parents? You said. Five. Survey so said. <laughs> Fill in the blank. Knuckle blank. You ain't even let me finish this one. <laughs> you said. Knucklehead. Survey said. Yeah. Yeah. Name a color you find on the Rubik's Cube. You said. Oh my God. Oh Red. My God. Survey said.
Tell me the most expensive thing you own. Oh you said God. Jesus. your house. Oh my God. Survey said. <laughs> We've just had a traumatic experience. In the <laughs> I'm sure you have. You need eight points. <laughs> Fill in the blank, knuckle blank. You said knuckle sandwich. Survey said. Sandwich was tied for the number one answer. Red was the number one answer. House was the number one answer. She actually gave four of the number one answer. All right, everybody, Cretion's off stage. I'm gonna ask you five questions in 20 seconds. You can't think of something, you just say pass. You and Cretion together come up with 200 points. Look right there, tell them what you're gonna win. $20,000! <laughs> All right, ready? 20 yes. seconds on the clock, please. We asked 100 married men, name a place your single friends go on Saturday night that makes you jealous. The bar. Name the room in your house you wish was bigger. My bedroom. Name something you put out. It's the past. How many inches long is a caterpillar? Two. If you have lots of kids, you better have lots of what? Money. Name something you put out. A fire. All right, Trey, let's see. We ask 100 married men, name a place your single friends go on Saturday night that makes you jealous. You said, to the bar. Survey said. Yeah! yeah. Let's go. Name the room in your house you wish was bigger. You said, bedroom. Survey said. Name something you put out. You said, put out a fire. Survey said. Yeah! How many inches long is the caterpillar? You said, mm, two inches. Survey said. If you have lots of kids, you better have lots of what? You said, need a lot of money. Survey said. Sorry. I got excited. That's OK. Well, hello, ma'am. How are you today? I'm good, sir. How are you today? Okay. He got 192 oh, points. Oh, I'm not allowed to cuss on TV, right? <laughs> yes. well, it's a little late for that. No problem. We need eight points. We asked 100 married men, name a place your single friends go on Saturday night that makes you jealous. You said, the strip club. Survey said. Yeah. Bar and nightclub, number one answer. Bedroom, number one answer. Something you put out, trash and garbage. 
number one answer. Two inches, number one answer. Money, number one answer. And all of them. Yeah! What I'm right, talking Wayne. about. You ready? Yes. 20 seconds on the clock, please. Come on, man. Name someone you hope never says to you, you're not going to like this. My doctor. Name the age people start feeling old. 40. Name a word that rhymes with fiddle. Pass. Name a type of berry. Strawberry. Name something you'd hate to discover in your pantry. Rats. Give me a word that rhymes with fiddle. Sizzle. <laughs> All right, let's go. Name someone you hope never says to you, you're not gonna like this. You said, the doctor survey said. Yeah! 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 Come on, baby. Woo! Name the age people start feeling old. You said, 40. Survey said. Yeah, that's good. Come on, baby. Come on. Give me a word that rhymes with fiddle. You said. Uh, let, let me ask you again, because maybe you misunderstood me. <laughs> Give me a word that rhymes with fiddle. Riddle. Yeah. 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 Give me a word that rhymes with fiddle. You said... Riddle. Survey said... Yeah! Name a type of berry you said. Come on, baby, number here. Come on. Strawberry. Survey said. Yeah! Baby! Yeah! Yeah! Come on! Come here, baby. Make it easy for my brother. We don't even Make need it easy candy. for your brother. That's it. That's what we hoping for. Yes. Whoa! Name something you'd hate to discover in your pantry. You said. Rats. Survey said. Well, Danny, what relationship are you to Wayne? Older brother. How many points you think he got, Danny? I say he got more than a buck twenty-five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you're right about that. Oh, buck eighty-five. A little higher than that. One ninety. A little higher than that. One ninety-five. One ninety-three. Oh! oh! Thank you, Jesus. Oh! Let's go, Danny. Let's go. Oh! Let's go. You need seven points. <laughs> Name the age people start feeling old. You said... 50. Survey said... <laughs> 40. 40 was the number one answer. Middle. Middle was the number one answer. Strawberry was the number one answer. Mice and rats was the number one answer. He had all number one except for that one, man. Wow. All right, you ready? Yes, sir. 20 seconds on the clock. Come on, Michelle. Let's make this happen. How much would someone have to pay for you to pose nude? A million dollars. Name a word that follows the word ginger. Bread. Name something that hardens as it cools. Uh, pass. Name a good day to go food shopping to avoid crowds. Tuesday. Name a color in a traffic light. Red. Name something that hardens as it cools. Ice. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Come on, Shell. How much would someone have to pay for you to pose nude? You said a million five hundred thousand. I'm laying there naked next to you. Survey said. Oh! <laughs> Name a word that follows the word ginger. You said gingerbread. Survey said. 
Yeah. Name something that hardens as it cools. You said ice. Survey said. <laughs> Name a good day to go food shopping to avoid crowds. You said Tuesday. Survey said. <laughs> Name a color in a traffic light. You said. Red survey said. <laughs> Your baby sister has just put up since I've been hosting this show the biggest number I've ever seen. No! I've never seen it. Let me just tell you what you need. Okay. J.E., you need six points. <laughs> That's crazy. Got it. That's crazy. I've never said that before. You need six points. I've yes. never said that before. How much would somebody have to pay for you to pose nude? You said $2 million. We need six people. Survey said... Ginger Ale was the number one answer. Water and Ice was the number one answer. Tuesday was the number one answer. Red was the number one answer. She gave all number one answers except for gingerbread. That's all. She just said Ginger Ale. She didn't want the money by herself. Wow. Come on, man. Let's go. You ready? Yep. 20 seconds on the clock, please. We asked 100 women, which state do you think has the best-looking men? California. Name something grandpa might be a little too old to be riding on. A horse. Name something people lick. Ice cream. How tall is an elf? Three foot. Tell me the night of the week when restaurants are most crowded. Friday night. Come on, Shiver, let's, let's go. go. Boy, you no. about to shock the world. <laughs> we asked 100 women, which state do you think has the best-looking men? You said... California. Survey said... Oh, hi. <laughs> Name something Grandpa might be a little too old to be riding on. You said... A horse. Survey said... Come on, come on. Name something people lick. You said... Ice cream. Survey said... <laughs> How tall is an elf? You said... Three feet. Survey said... Yeah. Oh! oh, my God! <laughs> Tell me the night of the week when restaurants are most crowded. You said... Friday, survey said... Oh, my God. Oh, all up there for a damn tape right here. Already. <laughs> you want the good news or the bad news? Give me the bad news, Steve. The bad news is you could walk out of here as the stupidest person to ever play this game. <laughs> <laughs> you want the good news? Go ahead and give me the good news. Shiva got 194 points. <laughs> Name something Grandpa might be a little too old to be riding on. <laughs> you said... 
his wife. I don't know why you think you so damn funny. You done sold your wife. I, some survey said... Twenty seconds on the clock, please. We asked 100 married men, on a scale of one to 10, how good of a lie detector is your wife? Eight. Name the part of your body that needs the most exercise. Stomach. Name a kind of place to which people bring flowers. Funeral. Name something nasty that comes out of a person's mouth. Curse words. Name something you might get up in the middle of the night to do. Pee. We asked 100 married men, on a scale of one to 10, how good of a lie detector is your wife? You said eight, survey said. <laughs> Name the part of your body that needs the most exercise. You said stomach, survey said. <laughs> Name a kind of place to which people bring flowers. You said funeral. Survey said. <laughs> Name something nasty that comes out of a person's mouth. You said. Curse words. Survey said. <laughs> Name something you might get up in the middle of the night to do. You said. P. <laughs> Survey said. I can either tell you how much she got, or I can tell you how much you need. Which one you want to know? How much I need. You need six points. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Yeah. I, I got you. <laughs> All right. Wait, I got to get six points. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pull yourself together. <laughs> She said, wait, I gotta get six Three. points. Okay. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. I'm ready. We asked 100 married men on a scale of one to 10, how good of a lie detector is your wife? You said nine. Survey said. You ready? Yes. 20 seconds on the clock, please. We asked 100 married women, you'd love your husband even more if he bought you a what? Diamonds. Name something, you'll, name something you pour on food. Gravy. Tell me the time you'd go to bed at night if you had to get up at 5 a.m. 10. Which day of the week are you in the best mood? Friday. Name something you chop. Onions. All right, Chris Ann, let's see. We ask 100 married women, you'd love your husband even more if he bought you a what? You said, diamonds. Survey said. Yeah! <laughs> Name something you pour on food. You said, 
gravy, survey said. Yeah! yeah. Tell me the time you go to bed at night, if you had to get up at 5 a.m., you said. 10 p.m., survey said. Which day of the week are you in the best mood? You said... Friday. Survey said... <laughs> Name something you chop. You said... You chop onions. Survey said... Hello, Jenna, how are you? Hello, Steve, I'm good, how are you? All right, I have two different types of news. <laughs> I have some good news for you. And some greater news. No, oh, and okay. some very, very bad news. Okay. Which one would you like first? Uh, I'm gonna go with the bad news first. If you don't get this, you're gonna get put out your family. <laughs> You want the good news? I would love the good news. You only need five points to stay in the game. Yeah. We asked 100 married women, you love your husband even more if he bought you a what? You said, a car. Survey said, Twenty seconds on the clock. How many drinks can a woman handle before she gets drunk? Three. Name the safest way to travel. Car. Name something that vampires hate. Sun. What do you think is the easiest pet to take care of? Cat. If a man is well dressed, who picked out his suit? His wife. How many drinks can a woman handle before she gets drunk? Mm. You said three. Survey said. Yeah. Name the safest way to travel. You said car. Survey said. Yeah. Name some yeah. vampires hate. You said son. Survey said. What do you think is the easiest pet to take care of? You said... Cat. Survey said... Hey! Hey! Yeah, 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 yeah. If a man is well-dressed, who picked out his suit? You said... <laughs> his wife. Mm -hmm. Survey said... Mama got 197 points. Oh my God! Yes, yes! Woo! This place right here, they're gonna have to rebuild all of this. <laughs> <laughs> you need three points. How many drinks can a woman handle before she get drunk? You said two. Survey said, <laughs> come on, girl. Number one answer. Garlic was the number one answer. Cat 
was the number one answer. His wife was the number one answer. She had all of them. All of them. You ready? I'm ready. 20 seconds on the clock, please. Come on, Carla. We asked 100 married women, without even looking, what does your man have in his hand right now? A remote. On a scale of one to 10, how perfect a person are you? Seven. Name an animal that might qualify as a beast. A lion. Other than the thumb, name a finger. Index. Name someone grandma has a picture of on her night table. Granddaughter. <laughs> We asked 100 married women, without even looking, what does your man have in his hand right now? You said, <laughs> remote survey said. <laughs> On a scale of one to 10, how perfect a person are you? You said, <laughs> seven, survey said. <laughs> Name an animal that might qualify as a beast. You said, <laughs> lion. Survey said. <laughs> Other than the thumb, name a finger. You said. <laughs> index. Survey said. <laughs> name someone grandma has a picture of on the night table. You said. <laughs> granddaughter. Survey said. Terry? Yes, sir. We have a situation oh, here. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh-oh. Carl is your sister? Cousin. She's your cousin. Mm-hmm. She gonna stay my cousin? Yeah, okay. she's your cousin. <laughs> this is all about you staying in the family. Oh, God. She's in forever. <laughs> this is, this is, could go down in history as one of the greatest games ever played. Wow. I'm yeah. impressed, I think. Yeah. Guess how many points you need. Well, heck, now probably five. Five? No. Nope. Cut up. You need less than well, that. Well, she got all the number one answers. Um, I'm gonna say two. Exactly. <laughs> Terry, you need two oh. points. No pressure. No pressure. This woman got 198 I am good. points. That's damn good. That's damn good. That's the most points. I've ever seen. Woo Way to go! Oh my God, if now I don't get roll. this. <laughs> <laughs> she said, come on, God, if I don't get this. <laughs> on a scale of one to 10, how perfect a person are you? You said eight. Survey said. was the number one answer. Index, the number one answer. Grandkids, the number one answer. She gave every number one answer that was. That's how you get 198 points. They got a two-day total of 20,880 bucks, and they're coming right back on Family Feud. You just saw the greatest round of fast money ever. I'm Steve Time, Your ass on YouTube. Your whole damn family on YouTube. Your whole damn family gonna be on YouTube. This about to be on YouTube. I'm gonna end up oh on YouTube. Oh my dear gracious. <laughs>